What is up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to another Rage Challenge video. Uh, guys, we are absolutely bossing Finite right now. And I'm gonna show you how you guys can do this too. Of course, we got lag, 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 lag all day. Um, there we go. So um, we're sitting at 31K points. I'm gonna tell you how you guys can achieve this as well. Um, so we're gonna talk about what we need to avoid, any sort of traps that Polarium are throwing at us and what we need to do to do this. So I'm an end game free to play player. And I think if you're sort of, obviously if you're free to play, not end game, I think you should be able to at least hit 15 to 20K as well. So if we come out of this and talk about what we need to avoid. So the first thing is um, I like, I'm avoiding just tournaments now that these are like terrible rewards. Um, so I won't, I don't really need to farm dragon anymore. And um, of course, if there's three times speed coming up, I will farm it. Um, but here, you know, this is just, you know, trash rewards. And also it was like two times life steal. I don't need life steal anymore. Life steal is for like early mid game. Uh, for me, it's just like trash gear right now. It's obsolete. I don't need it. So obviously that was a skip. So I will skip events and tournaments that I don't need to do anymore. And the biggest one has to be champion training event. I think this could be so controversial. Uh, lots of content creators tell you to do champion training events. These are the worst events in the game at end game. If you're early to mid game, this is the best event. So you need to make sure if you're early mid game that you're doing it. Um, obviously, you know, you need to build up your roster. You need, you need some of these rewards. Like you need the ancient shards to, again, hopefully get a legendary um and, and epics as well of course and you don't get a lot of legendary skill tomes early on in the game now i get so many like from you know like from clan boss and other places in the game that i don't really need to farm uh legendary skill tomes from here anymore it is annoying though obviously we you know polarium do not give us enough legendary skill tomes and by skipping this we are missing out on 24 legendary books a year and that is also, you know, means that we could, you know, but that's only three champions that you can really like fully max out with those skill tomes. However, what we do gain is so much energy and gems. We're not wasting like, you know, I was wasting loads of energy on uh, like maxing out. And also I was maxing out champions I don't even need to use. So we're maxing out trash, uh, trash champions. We are wasting loads of energy on it. And we're also wasting loads of gems as well. So normally I'd sit at like 2k gems. Now that I'm skipping champion training, I was sitting like 6k uh, 6k plus on the gems. So that is huge. That is a real, a real game changer. We are saving so much. And I only just started doing this. So, you know, I've only skipped two tournaments at the moment. And that's given me, you know, 4,000 gems. Um, and yeah, that is huge. So the first thing I also, something else I want to touch on as well is I put like 4,000 energy into level 20 Fire Knight. I just wanted to do some testing. And then I put the rest of it into Fire Knight Hard 6. Fire Knight Hard 6, even though I, I you know, I probably could push into 10 right now. I just need to re-gear some champions. But even Hard 6 was giving me way better gear than level 20. Um, there's a lot of conflicting info out there. People say, oh, mate, you should do to level 20. So do you know what? I thought, let's try it out. And actually level six hard is way better so level 10 hard is going to be even better than level 20 so yeah definitely make sure you're doing the hardest level that you can you will get better gear so um where were we gems so energy the other thing that i was doing to save energy was these tournaments so they sort of sit here so i got i picked up some um, energy from classic arena also, um, there was um, an artifact event. So I had 350 energy just sitting there. So I picked all of that up as well. So, you know, we're like a squirrel storing his nuts for a rainy day. You just want to put it all to one side and just use it at the right time. Um, obviously, we get our energy from our daily pack here as well. So I probably had like six bags of energy just sitting here as well. Pick all of that up as well. And then the other thing was Cursey. 
Cursey, I had so much energy here. So I literally use this like a bank. So I know that uh, C2, D1, D7, they all have energy. There's some energy sitting over here as well. Um, I can't do this part just yet. But um, obviously, wherever there's energy, even in normal as well, I was literally saving all the energy here. And then we only pick it up when something like three times savage comes along. So three times savage, three times provoke, hex, um, speed, all that good stuff. When that comes, that is when we're going to use this energy. And I just sort of go around it. So obviously C2, you can't. But um, because it's like one of the early ones, but like around here, I would sort of go around the energy and then pick it up when we need it. So pick up all that energy and then we go hard uh, to get that savage. And also, actually, sorry, I missed one thing here is that I had that 750 energy just sitting there. I picked that up for this just so we could score some extra points. Uh, another thing is we did win CVC, personal rewards. So obviously I hit that 400K mark and you get either, it's either 2,600 or uh, 2,800 energy. If you know, let me know in the comments below. And what I do is CVC, you just let CVC expire. Then those rewards will go in your bag and they sit there for six days. So obviously there was that dragon event with the lifesteal. And I just sort of sat on it just to see what would happen. And luckily, three times Savage came up. If the Savage didn't come up, then I would have probably put energy into Minotaur. Um, you know, we've got options. So I could have put it into Minotaur. I could have put it somewhere else. I mean, because life still, I don't need it. I would have probably just put it into Finite anyway. But luckily, it was three times Savage. So again, that was 2,800 energy that we got extra. We put it all into that. So I think that's that's most of the that's like some of the big stuff that we do. I'm going to share like a minor trick that I use as well. So again, this is for end game players. So I don't need to farm campaign anymore. And this is just a little thing I do to save a little bit of energy every day. So rather than um, farm brutal, because like I said, I don't need to level up champions anymore. I don't need to um, max out. You know, there's no champions that I need to max out. I don't really need food anymore. So I save this. So I don't farm brutal. What I do instead is I farm normal um, stage three because it's going to give me the most amount of silver. But also we're saving four energy. So roughly you get about 28 energy a day. Um, it, de it depends because sometimes you have to do the boss. But that again saves us a lot of energy as well. So instead of um, five... You know, instead of nine, we're saving 12 energy. Okay, it's not as big, um, but I just there's, I just don't feel there's no need for me to do it. But like over a month, that's like 500 energy that we're saving. And you could put that into Minotaur. You could put it into Finite. It's just, you know, it's just helping you save a little bit of energy. I mean, we're just being as efficient as we can. And then... So also, I just want to sort of go back to champion training. So I did say that I'll never do champion training events again because it's time consuming. It's a lot of resources. And, you know, I wouldn't have all that energy that I've saved that I've used to farm. And gear is so important in this game. We're at a stage now where gear is more important than having those legendary books. Um, so, yeah, gear is the most important thing in this game. However, the only time I would ever do another champion training event is if there's a chance to get Awakening Souls. Like, um, so I actually won the tournament to get five souls for Harima, and it was a champion training event. This is the only time I will do that again. So it has to be a champion, obviously, that I have. It has to be a god tier champion. Like, if it was Rotos or Leo or Hepfrak, Wukong, any like the best champions in the game like even trunda would be a good one like, but they are going to nerf us so probably not trunda but um yeah it like has to be a god tier champion that i have if that happens then i would go ham on that champion training event to make sure that i win and get those five souls because awakening your hero to five star is huge it's huge um so yeah so that's the only time i'm going to do it otherwise I am putting everything into Fire Knight. Guys, so we're coming to the end of the video now. Um, so we're sitting at 31k points right now. 
Um, we still got four hours to go, so we're going to go hard. I don't know what we're going to finish on, but you guys will see that in the thumbnail. Um, but just to recap, we are skipping trash events. We are, you know, only going hard when it's triple speed, triple savage, triple curse and triple hex. Obviously, if you care more about arena, then go for speed and savage. If you care more about Hydra, you still need savage for your nukas, but then also curse and provoke are really good as well. Um, and then we're just trying to save as much as we can. So anywhere you can save energy, just put it to a side and you're only going hard on those triple events. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the video soon. Peace!